what's going on my name is freerunner x10 and welcome to a brand new video in today's video i thought i'd make the return to the battlefield and check out battlefield one once again see where it's come from where it is right now and where it's heading in the future now i played a lot of battlefield one's open beta i enjoyed it so much that i was ready to buy battlefield one on launch i read a few reviews looked at performance after the beta and see one had changed and i was pretty much okay with what was happening so I decided to buy the digital deluxe version of Battlefield 1. In case you're wondering what that version entails it basically just gives you Battlefield 1 and then a few cosmetic items to enhance your gameplay experience although they don't really enhance your gameplay experience in any way shape or form and they are just meaningless cosmetic items. Now when I play Battlefield 1 on PC, I play on my own. Now the main reason behind that is because, one, I don't have any friends. I mean, I do, but they don't really play Battlefield at all. And two, if I did have friends that were playing Battlefield, they're playing on a different platform, i.e. a console. They're either playing on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So it's kind of not a thing that is possible. I can't really play with them. So I play solo in Battlefield 1. Yes, I could find randoms to play with, but it's not as fun as playing with people you know. So Battlefield 1 can become very stale, boring, and Repetitive very quickly. Sometimes I'll play a three hour session of Battlefield 1, get really bored with the game, and then decide not to pick up the game for a number of days, even weeks, sometimes even months. In the past couple of months, I've been busy playing other games, enjoying playing other games, and playing with friends, so Battlefield 1 hasn't been a game that I've touched all that much. And because of that factor that I haven't been playing Battlefield 1 a lot, I told myself that premium and buying the DLC wasn't really worth it. It was a waste of money because obviously I would play it for a bit to get board and it would just be just a waste of money in general. But not only that, there are a number of things within Battlefield 1 that I just don't like at all. For example, Battlefield 1 just lacks the customization options and versatility that previous Battlefield titles have had. Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 are games that have a lot going for it as far as base game content is concerned. Yeah, the maps are okay, the maps are not particularly the best in the world, there's some great ones, there's some bad ones, there's some mediocre ones, but for the most part, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 base game content is quite a lot in comparison to Battlefield 1. Now I know there's been a few updates to Battlefield 1 that have obviously tweaked gameplay balance, tweaked certain elements of the game and basically they added in a few other variants of guns that were within the base game which is pretty cool. I like the idea that they've come back and they've added some extra content but it would have been nice for that content to be in the game originally. So they have added a bit of content for people who have just bought the game but other than that, that content is very minuscule. For example, at Christmas time, they released a free map that is available for everybody. But one thing that I've noticed is I've only played that map a little bit. And the reason being is because I played it when it came out at Christmas time, but I didn't really play it after that. And I haven't been able to play it recently after playing a couple of hours. And the reason being is because when it came up in voting, it was outvoted easily by other maps. Nobody really wants to play that map at all. And that's kind of a problem because with PC, the player base for PC is very much dead. Battlefield is a game which is something that is hyped up. A lot of people hype up Battlefield saying this Battlefield is going to be epic. We're going to have some epic moments. There's going to be all this destruction only in Battlefield moments. And after a period of time, Battlefield 1 just dies out. Any Battlefield title really just dies out. The only thing keeping Battlefield going is the DLC content. That may draw a few people back, but usually it doesn't really. The player base for PC ends up dying. Battlefield is a very much alive and thriving game on console mainly because consoles are cheaper platform you don't need expensive hardware in order to run the game now the screenshot you're seeing right now is captured from TRN which is the battlefield tracker and this tracks stats for players who are playing on PC Xbox one and PlayStation 4 and they also have an online player counter now this screenshot was taken or screen cap was taken on the 21st of the 7th 2017 at around about five o'clock uh, UK time so that's GMT now Battlefield 1's player base on PC is currently at 19,726, which is low in comparison to the two console platforms. You have Xbox One with 34,856, and in the lead you have PlayStation 4 with 65,265. That is a lot of players playing Battlefield 1 on PlayStation 4, and as you can see, in, in comparison to PC, the console player base is thriving quite a lot. Now, there are 
there are some factors to why the PC version it has a higher player base right now and the reason being is because there's an event going on within Battlefield 1 which is called Premium Trials which means if you are somebody who owns the base game for Battlefield 1 right now there's an event going on where you have access to premium maps so you can try out the maps and see whether premium is worth buying or whether the DLCs are worth buying and that is something that Dyson EA are running right now I will be doing a video on that in the coming days where I basically play those maps and talk about those maps but in case you are wondering why the player base for PC is quite high it is because there's an event going on allowing people to try out the new premium maps as for this premium trial I'm not sure whether you can actually get this on PlayStation 4 or Xbox one I know it's definitely working and running right now on PC but it doesn't really state anything on the actual website uh, in the article that talks about this event that's currently going on so I'm not entirely sure where it's available for PlayStation 4 and Xbox one so you'll have to let me know in the comment section below but it's definitely available on PC in case you're wondering what the actual premium trial allows you to do it allows you to play the DLC maps which are available right now and the DLC maps that are available are from the they shall not pass DLC now this DLC was officially released on March 28th 2017 worldwide it's been around earlier than that I think as early as March the 14th 2017 for premium pass holders they could basically play the maps early and the maps that are in this DLC are Verdon Heights, Fort de Vox, Sosions or Sosions, Rupture, Neville Knights and Press de Taurus. I'm not sure how you pronounce that these are all French maps they're based around the French army it adds a new faction to the game there's 12 new assignments with this DLC now something else you will notice you won't actually get any XP when taking part in this premium trial because it's a premium trial so it means everything you do in these matches on these premium maps you won't get any XP you won't level up you won't unlock anything you'll get absolutely nothing what happens is that XP and all that stuff that you've done is locked it's saved but you need to buy premium in order to get that so in order to actually unlock the weapons you obviously need to buy the DLC or buy premium which gives you all of the maps uh, available all of the little expansion packs that are about to come out in the future and the ones that are currently out which is only one which is uh, they shall not pass so it's kind of silly how they've done it so if you basically spend a couple of hours you know playing this or a number of hours playing this you will need to buy a premium pass in order to get the experience that you should have earned from playing those matches but I don't think buying the expansion pack will actually give you that experience it'll just allow you to unlock the guns but I think you have to redo the assignments again which is very very silly it's very vague how they've gone about uh, explaining this which I don't like at all also, I noticed that some people might be confused about the new maps that were recently added. They are part of the They Shall Not Pass DLC. I know the DLC was officially released on March the 28th, 2017 worldwide, but what DICE has done is they've added two more maps to this expansion pack post-release. So after the expansion pack was released, they've made two more maps, or they were working on two more maps, and they finally got around to releasing them. So that is Neville Knights and Presti Tahu. I do apologize for how I pronounce that. I'm very bad at pronouncing French names, French words words so yeah I do apologize but yeah they're both night maps are very bright night maps but at least they're night maps now in case you're wondering are EA and DICE going to do these premium trials in the future and the answer to your question is yes they're going to do one for every DLC and maybe they'll do even more in the future so right now they're holding one for they shall not pass DLC basically to get everyone to try out the map see if they like it and if obviously they like it then they can buy the DLC and buy premium it's up to them it's their choice however it's kind of suggested that you won't get the XP you would have earned from playing those matches if you buy the DLC only if you get the premium pass. They're also going to do one for all the other DLCs that are coming out or expansion packs. You've got the next expansion pack coming out in September called In the Name of the Tsar. That adds the Russian faction, some snowy maps. It also adds female characters into Battlefield 1. I don't think the female characters will be in the vanilla maps for the base game or for uh, They Shall Not Pass. I believe they're just going to be available on In the Name of the Tsar maps, which kind of sucks, but at least they're in the game. Now, if you are a premium pass holder, you actually get to play one of the In the Name of the Tsar maps quite early as early as August and the name of the map is it's called Lubco Pass and that will be available in August for anyone with a premium pass to play. Of course if premium friends is still running at that point in time then you'll be able to play with your friends on that map if they have premium and you can join their party because at that point the premium trials will be over and then obviously they're going to do more in the future to show off the other expansion packs and try and get you enticed by them to sort of buy them or buy premium and then of course in the future we have two more expansion packs to come we have Turning Tides which is 
is meant to be about naval warfare and then apocalypse i'm not sure about apocalypse but that obviously is the end game expansion and usually adds some kind of interesting stuff to battlefield or at least that's what they've done in the past with the fourth dlc they've added a ton of stuff in the fourth dlc interesting stuff so hopefully the future for battlefield one is going to be great the only problem i have with battlefield one in my eyes is because i play solo the only thing to really do is basically just level up your account just to show off how much time you put into the game or level up your class rank which is pointless it's not something that i really feel is a good investment of time i'd rather you know play something else uh, that is more entertaining but nevertheless battlefield one's events need some work i think i believe the events are very 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 boring sometimes you'll have double xp events cool that's all right i guess if you like grinding for virtual ranks and virtual class ranks it's kind of tedious and boring in my eyes you also basically get uh, extra scrap events where they'll give you extra scrap that you can then use to buy battle packs you also do battle pack giveaways so usually they'll run an event and if you log in during that event period you'll get a free battle pack which is pretty cool although it does take a long time to get battle packs from actually playing the game it can be unlocked it just takes a long time of course the easier option is to buy battle packs with real money which i don't like the idea of and then of course they'll have like a random mission every now and again where you have to complete a certain challenge to get maybe a certain really horrible skin for your gun or to get a dog tag that you are not really going to see unless someone else is wearing it and you manage to like knife them or bayonet charge them any kind of melee attack that kills them uh, that's kind of stupid i don't like that either so as far as somebody who has the base game and doesn't have premium and doesn't have any of the dlcs there is a chance to try out the dlcs however obviously content for you as a person who has bought the base game you're not going to get any extra content than what you've got now yes there's going to be constant updates to battlefield one there's going to be changes to the gameplay there's going to be balance changes maybe they may add in some more free weapons but as it stands right now they made a few variants of weapons that were in the base game and then added them in recently and also they made a free map which came out at christmas time which was a big map where you were basically fighting uh, in open fields where a zeppelin had crashed which was pretty cool i liked it but it seems that a lot of people don't really want to play that map anymore so it sucks i don't know battlefield one looks interesting for the future i hope the dlc is great i'm interested to see what more we can see out of in the name of the saw it looks quite interesting although there are some things within those maps that are very gimmicky for example you can ride a horse which you can obviously do in the base game but this time you can use a massive wooden spear and and spike people with it impale them with it if you was but i i don't really like the idea of that it seems very gimmicky but yeah i don't know let me know what you think about the future of battlefield one how are you feeling about this freemium trial the premium free trial how are you liking the dlc maps from they shall not pass has it enticed you to buy premium or maybe buy the actual dlc expansion pack they shall not pass let me know in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed this video if you did in fact enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like unfortunately if you didn't enjoy this video there's always a dislike button and as always if you'd like to see more content like this or more content by me then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and and as always, I will see you on the battlefield. <laughs>